YouTube, YouTube, welcome back to part 12 and uh, this is a very well, very long awaited part, um, at least I think so because in this part I'm going to show you guys how to import an R15 character and we're going to make our first, our very very first render. So I want to make this informative but also I'm not dragging it on too long so let's just hop right into it i'm here in studio right you want to go to plugins and you want to get this plugin called load character by already pro right here so go to manage plugins the add button right here you can look up it's actually the first one but there it is uh you want to use that and uh let's go ahead and i'm gonna use my character so go kodai there that's me and we're gonna hit spawn r15 all right and you want to make sure you have spawn at origin uh, ticks right here. So it's going to spawn right in the center. So here I am. All right, I got a little challenge for you guys. If you're watching this video and making your first render, or even if you're not, I want to challenge you guys to make a render using my character. And all you got to do is go to Twitter and just tag GFX comment, and we will see it. If we like it, we will give you retweets and, uh, yeah, shout you out if it's... You know if it's cool so yeah now we're gonna right click and we're gonna hit export selection now right here you can save it to anywhere you want i'm just gonna save it to my uh, to this folder and name it codite model all right i'm gonna hit save i want you guys to head to our store gfxcomma.com uh this is completely free it is the r15 rig we're going to be using so hit add to cart and all you gotta do is just put your email and it will send the download link to your email um, right now, we only have one paid product up, and we have disabled, and we have disabled our other free stuff temporarily. So they will be back soon. And the UI templates that we had before, they were sold as a PSD file. But now, now we're going to take uh, those UIs and we're going to import them into Studio, and we're just going to sell the UI already imported. So that's going to be exciting. But uh, yeah, let's get the rig. All right. So the first thing you're going to see is this, and I uh, got a purple guy here and got a purple pinkish guy here do not be worried I'm gonna show you guys how to make this how to make this uh, into something amazing so let me just recap from the last video basic navigation use your scroll wheel button click down and you can rotate do that while holding shift and you can pan and just zooming in and out it's just uh, zooming in so it's just self-explanatory so let's start off by adding our texture this is actually quite simple so here's what we're going to do you're going to want to click you're going to want to click on a body part all right we're going to go to shading tab right here and as you can see here is uh the layout we could actually let's zoom back in here all right all right, you see this node, this is called a node, right? You wanna hit this button, and it says open image. And from here, you're going to want to find, from here, you're gonna to wanna to find where you exported your um, your model. And in there should be your texture, this thing. So click on that and hit open image. And as you can see, I have the texture on the character, but I don't have my hats. So how do we get our hats? I'm going to go to file, go to imports, and go to wavefront objects. Go to the same folder where you exported. Find the .obj file. Go to geometry right here and uh, tick split by group. You want to hit import. And as you can see, I have my character imported. Go up to objects, go to set origin, and hit origin to geometry. Now, I'm going to hit GZ on the keyboard. I'm just going to align this. We hit G, uh, GY, move this out, and I'm just going to click, hold shift, and I click on the arms, torso, and legs. All we need are the hats. So I'm going to hit X, hit X again, and now I'm going to hit X, and click on delete. Also this. Alright, I got my hats, hold shift, click on all of them. Alright, so from here, G, uh, GY. Position their hats properly. I think this is fair. Also, if you hit R, you could uh, rotate your hats. All right. 
get our x, it will lock it in it will lock it onto the x axis, our y, and so forth. So now you want to go up and we're gonna click on the third bubble into render view, and you might be wondering why is everything pink? We're gonna solve that really really quickly. Alright, on Google, you want to look up HDRI Hape and go up to Assets and HDRI. Now, from here, just pick anyone you want. Um, don't overcomplicate it. So, I'm just going to click on this one and just hit download right there. And as you can see, you get a uh, .exr file. We're going to click on this button, this uh, red globe. It's called World Properties. Right, as you can see it has sunrise exr now the reason why it's pink is because I saved this file using uh, a sunrise.exr and because I didn't include that in the download you guys don't have it so it's all pink right so hit open image go to downloads and click on the exr and hit open now as you can see we instantly have some lighting um, you can also remove this little scene setup if you want to. Uh, we can just click on it, hit X, click delete. Same thing. Now we got a transparent background. Right? If you want to bring it back, you could. We could also even play around with uh, this right here to make something cool. Um, uh, let's go for, let's go to, let's go to surface. Let's play around with this if you want to. We do something cool with that. New material, metallic. So now let's go over how to edit our character materials and make them look uh, even better. So let's start off with my hats right here. I'm just gonna click, go to material right here, and zoom in. All right. Right here, okay. You can go to metallic and uh, you can turn this up, All right? Specular up as well. Now, roughness down. As you can see, we got a shiny look now. As for my clothing, uh, I'm actually gonna turn specular down for this one. Much better. Metallic up and roughness. We're just gonna do that. As you can see, my clothes look a lot better. There we go. That looks pretty good so far. That looks pretty good to me. So now I want you guys to hit zero on your number pad. So not the uh, top row of number keys, but on the right side. So hit that and you will enter into camera view. From here, uh, let's actually go to edit and go to preferences down here. And, in, uh, and right here, you want to go to key map and in the search bar, Look for view navigation. All right, I'm gonna enable that, and I have mine set to uh, Shift F. So if I hit Shift F, I can move freely. Look at that. This little square frame right here. This is your output. So not this entire scene, not this entire canvas right here, but this little square. So if you zoom in and out. Um, this doesn't really change it. <laughs> this is just for your visuals. Uh, if you shift and pan, same thing. It's still going to render what's inside this uh, square. To change uh, it from a square, just go to your output properties. And right here, 2000 by 2000, you could do, you could do 1920 by 1080, like that. And uh, to adjust this, shift F, boom. There we go. We got ourselves a nice little scene, right? And you can also go to camera, make sure you have it selected and uh, focal length. All right, so once you're ready, go up to render, hit render image, and as you can see, it renders extremely quickly. That right there is the power of Eevee, and I think it, it looks pretty good for something that renders in under a second, as you can see right there. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Obviously, it won't match the detail that Cycles will bring and the uh, features it has, but save as and name it anything you want. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video right here. If this helps you guys, make sure to leave a like, 
subscribe you can see our render you can see the finished product result right there but yeah if this video helps you guys make sure to uh, share with a friend or anybody else that you think this could possibly help that would really help our channel and i would really appreciate that so yep yeah, um if you want to check out our store a lot more things coming soon join the discord uh, follow us on twitter all that um stay tuned for the for the next parts and uh, yeah leave me any feedback in the comments if you have any but with that being said i hope to see you guys in the next video